Last night's show, I just thought it was great. How far did you make it? I've not seen the cage match, but I saw the the Finn Balor Adam Cole match. That match was great, clean finish. Finn Balor's your new champion. Adam Cole was a one hundred percent babyface in this match, and Finn Balor was pretty much a babyface as well. So. It looks like every single problem that I've been ranting about for the last two months now was all resolved in one show. I guess things can go wrong next week, but this was great. We had, uh, well, Velveteen Dream, Ashanti, the Adonis didn't go much time at all. Bronson Reed, Austin Theory was the most fun match ever. Bronson Reed is a big, giant monster, and he goes in there and he destroys Austin Theory who's bumping around like Shawn Michaels in that match with Hulk Hogan. Some of it was actually too ridiculous. Like, at one point, he was hit going one direction, but he did a flip bump the other direction. I was like, what are you doing, dude? But he was bumping all over the place. They go briefly to commercial. They come back. He's still getting beaten on. And I'm thinking, man, if I know WWE, Bronson's going to beat him up the whole match. He's going to bump all over the place. And then Bronson's going to, like, slip on a banana peel, or Austin's going to cheat, and he's going to... We've seen it a billion times. But instead, Bronson bumped him around for another five minutes, and then splashed him off the top, top and pinned him in the middle of the ring. I loved that match. And then, of course, we had this set up for the... Actually, I haven't seen Killian Dane and Roderick Strong yet, but... Roderick Strong is in it, so I don't know how it, it can moved move things forward. That's the biggest thing about that one. It moved things forward between Killian Dane and the... Uh, Drake Maverick, actually, a uh, spoiler for you, but for everybody else out there that saw it, and you know the three-way between them and, and Undisputed Era. And then in the main event, I have not seen the Mercedes versus Rhea Ripley match yet, but I mean, excellent. people on the board thought it was great, so yeah, there you it was go. Fun. I don't now, know about excellent, but it was great. It, I mean, it really was fun to watch, and. You know, the one thing I guess that you missed in all this, too, was the uh, conclusion of Dinner at the Garganos. I have and, not seen um, the conclusion. The, the, the first few were not that great. It was very awkward and looked very heavily edited. But we'll see what the conclusion the was. The Garganos, especially with, like, Candace's hair now, I mean, they are B-horror movie crazy white people. They have that. If that's the direction they'd like to go with them, if you stuck well, them clearly. in Bray Wyatt's... In Bray Wyatt's Funhouse, I'd believe it. Them as a, a creepy duo, if that's if they wanted to go ahead and get them over like that, they they could do it. They uh, with the way that thing was structured last night, it was played a little bit for laughs, but it just seemed to have this tension of Tegan Knox might die in this house at the hands of these people. I, I really I get that vibe from them, and I don't know if anybody else does, but. That, that was on the show last night. But, yeah, then he got to the main event of Mercedes Martinez and Rhea Ripley. And it was, you know, it played into a lot of the same things that we see in a lot of these matches, these cage matches. There were weapons in there, but because that's because Rhea threw him in uh, before the match had started. Uh, Mercedes was going after him. So, of course, we end up with a table, a kendo stick, and a chair in the ring, which, you know, in, in modern era, no surprise there. We got Robert Stone trying to interfere, but none of that took away from the match at all. Just kind of everybody played into it nicely. Robert Stone took his bump and, of course, tried to interfere late. Ended with Rhea hitting a riptide on, with Martinez off the second rope through the table. And really, it was a very, very fun match and a real step up for what's been going on in this feud that, you know, with Rhea and, and Robert Stone didn't start all that great. And I don't really want to see it continue. But the fact they got Mercedes Martinez in there to kind of be the buffer and, and make things work out has been great. Well, yesterday here on this show, I flat out said I do not know the finish to Adam Cole and Finn Balor, but I told you what I thought was going to happen. Somehow this became a news story that I had been told to finish. I don't know why people do this, but that means I need to preface this again. I don't have any idea what's happening, but they did a gimmick where Robert Stone has filed a restraining order against Mercedes Martinez. And... That's kind of odd. So, given that they did this cage match, and it's a blow-off, and Mercedes lost, and they did the restraining order, I would not be the least bit surprised if Mercedes ends up on the main roster as part of Retribution.